So today I will demonstrate you how to divide the two different folder. One is the source file and another is the class file and how we can put our class file into different folder and how we can execute the same using the package. So for that you can first move to the directory in which you want to create your project. So I'm just creating here my project and the name of my project is for example EMP project. So this is my employee project here in employee project I'm creating two folders. One is the source file that is you can say source and another is the class file that is you can say classes. Some people says that it's a bin. It means executable file. Now in my project that is in a D drive MCA to Java. I created a one folder that is employee project inside that I created the two folder. One is the classes. Another is the source. Now what I want to do. I want to create the Java file into source folder here. So I'm just moving in a sublime over here. Here in a sublime, I'm just saving my this program in a D drive MCA to Java EMP project here in a source file. I'm saving my program as that is EMP demo dot Java. Now here you can define the package. For example, package is AU dot MCA. So AU dot MCA is my package. Now here I'm creating a one class. And the name of the class is that is employee here you can define the constructor also if it is required I'm just defining the constructor and I'm printing the message over here that is it is a employee constructor even you can define the instance member also like integer employee code string employee name and here you can define integer salary each and every employee has a code name and salary here you can overload the constructor that is employee and here you can write formal parameter that is integer employee code string employee name integer salary and here you can write this dot employee code equal to employee code this dot employee name equal to employee name this dot salary is equal to salary you can override the to string function to display the content. So you can write public string to string and here you can return employee code, some space, employee name, some space and salary. Now here you can define another class and that is employee demo. Here you can define the main function that is public static void main. Now here in a main, I want to call the constructor. So I can write here employee even equal to new employee and I'm providing here the value that is 1001 name of the employee for example Atmir and salary for example 25,000. Now I want to print this particular instance that is system dot out dot print line and you can print the even. So you can say this is my source file. This is my Java file. If you look over here in an employee project source folder, then EMP demo dot Java file is created over here. If you look into classes folder, then there is a no file available over here. Now I want to execute this Java file and I want to generate the class file into this folder over here, including the package. So how we can do this? You can move to command prompt. And here in a command prompt, you can move to the directory in which your source file is available. So it is available in my employee project. And here you can say it is available in a source. So you can say that here EMP demo dot Java file that is available inside the folder that is a source folder. So you can move over here source and it is available that is EMP demo dot Java. Now I want to compile this Java file and I want to generate the class file into that particular directory. But what happened? Suppose if you write here that is Java C employee demo dot Java. And if you are not providing any destination path, then the class file will be created over here in this folder. So if you press enter, then your class file will be created over here. That is employee class and employee demo. But I don't want to over here. I want to shift delete this. I want the class file 
in my destination directory that is in a classes folder i want the class file over here so how we can do this it is very simple here you can write java c employee demo dot java now where you want to generate your class file that i want to generate in a classes folder it is available in a employee project in a parent directory it is available right so here you can write the sd generate it in a dot dot slash classes so dot dot slash will do what it will move into parent directory that is employee project and generate the same into the folder that is classes so in parent directory sub folder is there that is classes create the class file over here so whenever you press enter you will see here that the folder au is created over here and mca folder is available over here and two class files available over here if you look carefully then your source file is available over here that is java file and your class file is available over here that is in a classes folder now how to execute this so it is very simple if you want to execute then there are two ways either you can use the dash cp option over here or you can set the class path at the command prompt so you can write here that is dash cp where your file is available your file is available in a parent subfolder that is classes so parent is employee project and it is available in a classes folder here you can write the name of your package that is au.mca. now here you can write the name of your class which contains the main so here you can write employee demo and you can press an enter you will get the result that is 1001 atmir 25000 if you look carefully then what i did i created a project folder in which i created the two folders one is the source folder in which i put the java file another is the classes folder in which i generated the class files using the dash d option and I use the class path that is using the dash cp option. But what happened? I cannot write java.au.mca.employee demo. If I am writing like this, then I will get an error. Now, if I want to set the class path for this particular session, then I can set class path is equal to, you can give the full path of your classes folder. So you can write here, that is D drive, mca to java, employee project and classes is the class path semicolon and dot it means you are giving the path of the current directory also now press enter now you will be able to execute this particular line easily you can use the same statement over here and you will get the result over here that is 1001 atmia 25000 so this is the way you can create your own project which contains the two different files source file and class file that is a separated and you can execute your java program with the package